get started on this bucket hat, I'm just gonna be using a worsted weight yarn by Lion Brand and a five millimeter crochet hook. So the first thing I'll need to do is create a magic loop. So I'm gonna twist my yarn and draw up my long tail. And now that I've started that loop, I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna insert six single crochets into my loop. So I'm gonna insert my hook into the loop, draw up a loop with two on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through. And that's my first single crochet. To show you again, I'm gonna insert my hook into my loop, yarn over and draw up a loop. And with two on my hook, I'm gonna yarn over and pull through both. And now I have two single crochet. And after my sixth single crochet, I can pull on my loose tail and close up that loop. And to finish my first row, I'm going to slip stitch into my chain one. And that's the first row. To start my second row, I'm gonna chain one and insert two single crochet into each stitch. So here's my very first stitch. I'm gonna insert my hook and add two regular single crochet. So that's one, and that's two. Moving on to my next stitch, I'm gonna add two more. back into that same stitch again for my second single crochet. Here's my next stitch. I'm gonna insert my hook. This is my first single crochet. I'm going right back into that same gap for my second and just continue with the two single crochet into each stitch until the end of your row. And to close out my second row again, I'm gonna slip stitch into my chain one space. So here's my chain one. I'm gonna pull up a loop and pull through the one. And now I have my second row completed. To start my third row, I'm gonna chain one and for the third row, I'm gonna add two single crochet into every other stitch. So I'm gonna single crochet into one space and then add two single crochet in the next. I'm gonna add one single crochet into my first stitch. Here at the next stitch, I'm gonna add two single crochet. So that's one. Go right back into that same gap and add another single crochet. For my next stitch, I'm only gonna add one single crochet. And moving on to my next stitch, I'm gonna add two. So inserting my hook, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through both for that single crochet. And repeat the same thing into that same gap. And I'll continue to add two single crochet into every other space until the end of my row. And finishing my row with my two single crochet, I'm gonna find my chain one space and slip stitch to close the round. And now we have our third round completed. To start my fourth round, I'm gonna chain one and add two single crochet into every third space. So the pattern's gonna be one single, one single, and then two single crochet. So to show you, here's my very first space. I'm gonna add one single crochet. Moving on to my next space, I'm gonna add another single crochet. 
And here at my third stitch, I'm gonna add two single crochet. So here's that first single crochet and going right back into that gap, add a second. And continue to add two single crochet to every third space. And here at my very last stitch, I'm gonna add my two single crochet. And to finish the fourth row, I'm gonna slip stitch into my chain one space. For the fifth row, I'm gonna chain one. And now I'm gonna add two single crochet into every fourth space. So the pattern is gonna be one single, one single, one single, and then two. So here at my very first stitch, I'm gonna add one single crochet. At my second stitch, add one single crochet. At my third, add one more single. And here at my fourth stitch in the row, I'm gonna add two single crochet. So here's one, and going right back into that same gap, I'm gonna add a second single crochet. To show you again, here at my first stitch from the hook, I'm gonna add one single crochet. At my second stitch, I'm gonna add one single. At my third stitch, I'm gonna add one single crochet. And here at my fourth stitch, I'm gonna add two single into the same stitch. So that's my first and coming back again into my same gap. I'm gonna add a second. And here at the end of my fifth row, I'm gonna add my two single crochet into my last stitch. And then slip stitch into my chain one space again. To start my sixth row, I'm gonna chain one like always and add two single crochet into every fifth stitch. So here's my first stitch. I'm gonna add one single crochet. At my second stitch, add one single crochet. At my third stitch, add one single. At my fourth stitch, add one single. And finally, here at my fifth stitch, I can add two single crochet into the same space. So I'm gonna insert my hook and make one single. And back again here into the same stitch. Add a second single crochet. And here again at the very end of my row, I'm gonna finish with my two single crochet. And then slip stitch into my chain one space. To start my seventh row, I'm gonna chain one. And now for this row, I'm gonna add my increase of two single crochet into every sixth stitch. So here at my first stitch, I'm gonna do one single crochet. Second stitch, one single. Third stitch, one single. Fourth stitch, one. Fifth stitch, one. And here at my sixth stitch in the row, I'm gonna add my two single crochet increase. So here's my first single crochet, and back into that same gap. I'm gonna add a second single crochet. So you're gonna work five single crochets in a row and add your two single crochet increase on your sixth stitch. And work this pattern until you reach the end of your row. And here at the end of my seventh row, I'm gonna finish with my two single crochet into the same space. 
and slip stitch into my chain one space. To start my eighth row, I'll chain one. And now I'm gonna work six single crochets and add my increase of two single crochet on my seventh stitch. So at my first stitch here, I'm gonna add one single crochet. At my second stitch here, I'll add one single. At my third stitch, add one single. At my fourth, I'll add one. At my fifth, I'll add another one. And here at my sixth, I'll add one. And now at my seventh stitch, I'll add my two single crochet. So into that space for my first, and right back into that same gap for my second single crochet. And after my very last stitch in the row, I'm gonna slip stitch to my chain one space. To start my ninth row, I'm gonna chain one, and now I'm gonna add my increase of two single crochet into every eighth stitch. So I'm gonna work seven single crochet in a row and add those two single crochet on my eighth. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh stitch here and here at my eighth stitch I'll add two single crochet into the same gap so here's my first and right back into that same space for my second single crochet and I'll just continue this pattern of seven single crochet in a row and an increase of two single on my eighth to start my next row I'm going to chain one again and now I'm gonna work eight single crochet in a row and add my two single crochet increase on my ninth stitch. So here at my first stitch, that's one single crochet, two single, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight in a row. So right now I have eight single crochet in a row and here at my ninth stitch I'm going to add my two single crochet increase. So I've already added one, I'm going to come right back into that same gap and add my two single crochet into the same stitch. And just continue that pattern until you get back around to the end of your row. So I'm gonna stop adding my increases here and start working down the body of the hat. So for this next round and the next couple of rounds, I'm going to be working only one single crochet into each stitch around the entire hat. So there's not gonna be any more increases at the moment. It's just gonna be one single crochet all around the body. And only for this first row of the body of the hat, I'm gonna be working in the back loops only. So I'm gonna start by chaining one and here at my very first stitch, I'm gonna go into my back loop only and single crochet. And I'm just gonna be working one single crochet into every stitch. So before I was going through both loops here at the top of my row, but for this first row of the body, I'm just gonna be working in that back loop only. So for the next few rows, I'm just gonna to continue to place one single crochet into every single stitch. So finishing up my eighth row, and now I'm gonna slip stitch again into that chain one space. So after the top of my hat, I've done about eight rows here without any increases. And now I wanna start working on the brim of the hat, which I wanna make pretty frilly and ruffly. So to start the first row of my brim, I'm gonna begin by chaining one, 
I'm placing two single crochet into every other space. So for my first stitch, it'll be one single crochet, and for my second stitch, I'll place two. So here's one, and back into that same stitch for two. And this is gonna be our pattern for the entire row. So I'm gonna add my increase on every other stitch. One, and then two. Show you again, here's my first stitch, place one, and in my second stitch, I'll place two. For my second row of the brim, I'm gonna begin by chaining one, and the pattern for this row will be to place two single crochet into every third stitch. So here's my first single crochet into the first stitch. Into my second stitch, place one single crochet. And into my third stitch, I'll place two single crochet. So that's one back into that same stitch for two. To show you again, I'm gonna place one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into the next, and then two single crochet into the third stitch. And I'll just continue to add my increases on every third stitch until I reach the end of my row. And for the third row of my brim, the pattern's gonna be three single crochet and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch. So I'll be adding my increase for this row on every fourth stitch. So to show you, here's my first stitch. Into my second stitch, add one. Into my third stitch, add one. And here at my fourth stitch, I'll be adding two single crochet. So here's my first and back into that same gap, I'll be adding my second. Again, here's one stitch, my second stitch, my third single crochet, and here at my fourth, I'll add two. So I'm starting to get this really cute frilled effect and I'm just gonna continue until it gets a little bit longer. And now I'm gonna place the increases on every fifth stitch. So I'm gonna have one single crochet, two single crochet, three, four, and here at my fifth stitch, I'll add my two single into that. And for the next three rows, I'll be adding one single crochet into every single stitch. So I won't be increasing the brim of the bucket hat anymore. I'm simply just gonna be adding one single crochet into every stitch until the end of the row. And I'm gonna repeat the one single crochet for about three or four rows. And now here at the end of that row, I can cut my yarn and tie it off. For this velvet bucket hat, I've already repeated the same steps as I've shown you earlier for the body of the hat. So for the first row of the straight brim, I want to place my two single crochet increase in every sixth stitch. So I'm going to work five single crochets in a row and then place my two single crochets into my sixth stitch. And I'm going to do this for the entire row. For the second row of the straight brim, I'm going to start again by chaining one. And for the entire second row, I'm gonna be placing one single crochet into every stitch. So for every other row on this brim, we're not gonna be adding any increases. For the third row of my brim, I'm gonna start again by chaining my one, and now I'll be placing my two single crochet increase into every eighth stitch. So for this row, I'm gonna work seven single crochets in a row, and then place those two single crochets into the same stitch on my eighth stitch. And now for the fourth row of the brim, I'm gonna be placing one single crochet into every single stitch. For the fifth row of the brim, I'll be placing my two single crochet increase in every 10th stitch. So for this row, work your nine single crochet in a row, and at your 10th stitch, place two single crochet. 